Welcome back to Mbox Q&A. Today's question, how does file browser work? The Ice Cream Jones reports, when I try to open the downloads folder using file browser 4, it won't open. File browser just puts a green check mark beside it. The same thing happens when I try to access a USB drive using file browser 4. It just puts a green check mark beside it. Help! Ice Cream Jones, you've described exactly how selection mode works in File Browser 4, which is the default browser included with Android 4.4.2 KitKat all the way through Android 7.1.2 NuGet. So there are two modes to this browser. One is browse mode. When you're in browse mode, you can click on a directory. It'll open, and then you can click on subdirectories. So we'll click on the download folder. There's nothing there, but we were able to open it. We can click return. We can click return again. We're back to our main directories. I can click on the external drive. It'll open. I can click on subfolders if there's any browsers in here. Boy, a bunch of browsers. I can return and I'm back to my main directories. So that's browse mode. Now, when I click this first tab, it turns yellow and I'm in selection mode. I'll still be able to open the root directories of my embedded multimedia card, which is labeled local disk here, or my external HB USB drive. But watch now, if I try to open that same browser folder, it won't open. All we get is this green check mark. So what's the purpose of that? Well, that allows me to use the edit menu where I can cut that folder, copy that folder, go elsewhere and paste it, delete that folder, rename it, or share it. So in selection mode, it's expecting that you want to use one of these cut, copy, paste, delete operations. So let's kind of see how that works. Now, in order to use this, I first have to turn off selection mode because I can't get into the folder I want to get into. So let's go into a File Explorer folder. Let's go to File Explorer Pro be because, believe me, file, FX File Explorer is much better than the default File Explorer. So here's how we would transfer it from a USB drive to the embedded multimedia card on my box. Now, it's not really necessary to do this because I could just click here and it would try to install it. But just for practice, we're going to copy it. So first, I would have to turn on selection mode. Click on it. Puts the green check mark. Now I can go to copy mode. One file copied. Now I can go here. I can go to local disk. I want to put it in my download folder because this will be the same as if I had just downloaded it. But see, I can't open that folder. I can't really paste it in there because I can't open that folder. So first I have to turn off selection mode. Now I'll be able to open that folder. Now I can go to the edit menu and now I can paste. And see, it pastes in. So I, I hope this has cleared up some confusion between how browse mode works as opposed to selection mode. It's not very intuitive. I think you're going to like FX File Explorer a lot better. So let's just take a look and see how that works right now. Now File Explorer, the one I've just put here, will work on KitKat all the way through Android 9. It's my favorite file explorer. I think you'll like it too. Let's take a look. This, by the way, is the default Video Strong launcher on my M8 S Pro. One of the things I don't like about this launcher is that it does not alphabetize. 
But that's another story. Here's FX. So how it works. Opens the embedded multimedia card. Opens the USB storage directly from this first screen. Here's main storage. Go back home. Here's the USB storage. Really nice intuitive file browser. But the best part about it is that it can also access network locations. So this is a shared drive that's on my Netgear router. And so now it shows all the files that are on my shared drive. Can't do that with File Browser 4. So I would uh, suggest that you give FX File Explorer a look. I think you'll really like it. It might be called, what's it actually called here? It's just called FX. You can get it from, well, let's see where we can get it. FX File Explorer. There it is. FX File Explorer. No ads. See, where's that coming from? It's on Google Play. Can't beat that. Well, I hope this answers your question, Mr. Ice Cream Jones. And I want to thank you for watching. And I want to thank you for asking a pertinent question.